in this exercise we will talk about this sqlite database.swift the class which i have created now this sqlite database.swift act as your wrapper class for your database so your database is your secured area where your data will be stored like a locker room in a bank now in a bank you have a locker room where one guard is authorized to go and access that locker room so if there are plenty of customers comes in together everyone will be entered in one by one similarly if plenty of controller wants to try to access database through this provider the provider class will enter in them one by one by one so there cannot be another provider object in a memory so we'll make sure that provider class is singleton and so now to order to make sure that you know database is in a different language it's in based in c your ui is based in swift so a lot of manipulation will happen every time when you see swift code try to access the c code so sqlite database provide that particular wrapper where it will make sure all your transition between the controller request given to the provider and the database goes smoothly so your provider class becomes more cleaner and all your internal processing will happen inside this sqlite database so we'll be going through this function each one as and when we start creating our own singleton provider class so this becomes your wrapper so any class which will interact with the database needs to extend from sqlite database okay so this act as a, your sqlite stack which will perform connecting to the database firing the queries to the database making sure that your query is properly formatted everything will be taken care by this sqlite database now before we start implementing any provider class and controller class we need to create database so you need to have a sqlite database in your project now you have plenty of third party tools where you can create your sqlite database but we'll be using build in terminal command to create a sqlite database now for that i'll be so we'll be creating a simple table called person and there will be having two column person id pid integer and p name so i'll go to terminal so your terminal is a command prompt in your window so this terminal you can write the commands to create sqlite file using terminal but generally we use lot of third party tools so that we can get the we so that we can get the uh graphical representation of database schema so here we will be writing a command called sqlite 3 i just zoom in so so it becomes visible first so sqlite 3 space i'll say person db is my sqlite file and the extension is sqlite so it will create in my home folder so if sqlite file exists it will open if it doesn't exist it will create and open now it's so i'll create table called create table person now all these statements are case insensitive i use keywords as a caps to make it more presentable but it's not necessary i will say where care 20 so I've created a table in my database with two columns PID and P name. I just close this terminal and I'll go to my finder. I'll go to my home folder. If you don't find your home folder, you can go to your finder. Under finder, you have preferences. Inside preferences, you have sidebar where you can select your home folder. So your home folder comes in your favorites. So percent DB is created. Now I'll go into my SQLite folder. I'll right click, say add files. Make sure copy is selected. I'll go. I select person DB. I'll add. So your SQLite file on which you will be performing some queries has been imported. So your database has been imported. Creating a database, you can use any third party tool on Windows, Linux, Mac. Absolutely fine. Create your database schema, import that database schema in your project. In the next exercise, we'll start creating the provider class and we'll be seeing how to create all those queries statement inside your Swift.